So let's get back to some of our original questions. Is a high insertion torque necessary for osseo integration? And it certainly does not appear to be the case. When, it talk, when we talk about immediate temporization, again, it doesn't appear that a high insertion torque is an absolute requirement to successfully immediately replace an anterior tooth. When we talk about cortical bone and trabecular bone, I don't know that we actually have all of the answers just yet, but I think cortical bone at the crest and trabecular bone are two different tissues and respond differently to pressure and compression. And when it comes to immediate sites and single rooted situations, we were unable to prove that a correlation exists between insertion torque and ISQ. So what is important? Well, I think what's important is that we still have a lot to learn. And we're all trying to look for answers to best treat our patients. But I think we can now at least say that implants can successfully osseointegrate when they're placed at low and high insertion torques. Other variables, bone, healing, medical status of the patient, medications, and so forth. And really, the success of all treatment lies in our diagnosis, how we treatment plan these patients, and having the experience to perform these treatments with a high level of precision so we can gear ourselves towards predictable, stable outcomes. This all comes down to case selection. And with that, I thank you for your attention.